Hi everyone. Today I'd like to do a bit of a walk around with you. These pair of engines behind me. Now, they're not actually a pair. They're two similar yet different marine engines from Fiat. The one closest to me here with the black front is the FPT Fiat Powertrain Technology NEF 450. This engine has been a staple for Fiat for over 20 years now, uh, since early 2000 that this engine was introduced. And the engine behind it is the latest addition to the fleet, which is the NEF 570 EVO. As it sounds, there is quite a difference in regards to the horsepower rating. The NEF 450 here being 450 horsepower at 3000 RPM, the one behind it, the NEF 570 EVO, is 570 horsepower at 3000 RPM. There's quite a few differences between them, but in essence they are the same design of engine, both a 6.7 litre displacement, albeit the 570 EVO weighs in 120 kilos heavier. So there is quite a structural difference I'm led to believe in regards to the internal in the engine to ensure that that horsepower uh, allows you for a long and reliable lifespan. I'll show you around them. So The NEF 450 weighs in at 600 kilograms dry engine weight only. So it's very light for 450 horsepower. 6.7 litres is an excellent displacement for an inline six cylinder engine for a majority of either single uh, installations up to around about the low to mid 30 foot or twin installations up closer to probably closer to 50 foot. Now you can see how well integrated all the different cooling components are on the NEF 450. So just very simply, you've basically got an intercooler just sitting down here, nice and easy, the seawater pump behind it, a single whole set turbocharger on the rear through the boost air piping, a heat exchanger on the starboard side of the engine, and of course the gearbox oil cooler on the rear. You note that these engines both have gearboxes on them, they are destined for different homes. Uh, the NEF 450 here is destined for a jet boat application, whereas the NEF 570 is going into an aluminium uh, octopus fishing vessel very shortly. So please ignore the fact that they are different gearboxes on the back here. Compared to the NEF 570, we again have a whole set turbocharger on the rear, albeit it is a different model of turbocharger providing higher boost. The air inlet piping, you can see we have the intercooler again in the same location as the NEF 450. The gearbox oil cooler remains the same on the rear, but where we do see a difference is over on this side of the engine. We do still have tucked underneath here the heat exchanger, the seawater freshwater heat exchanger, but on top here we actually have the engine oil cooler external as opposed to on the NEF 450 where it's just internal uh, in, inside the block. Um, just due to keeping the oil a bit cooler, you can see here we have these two large braided pipes which just run into the base of the oil filter. A few other differences now with this later generation of NEF EVO is the ECU. So the NEF 450 runs the Bosch EDC7 electronic system, whereas the new 570 EVO runs the EDC17 system. There are a few benefits of the EDC17 in regards to, we actually have a lot more monitoring on the engine, which is just a fantastic uh, idea. So for example here, we're picking up uh, exhaust gas temperature from standard, which does display on the panel. And the other awesome little feature is the fact that it is now monitoring, just tucked in there, uh, seawater inlet pressure to give you a, an alarm should you lose seawater pressure uh, up to the motor. The NEF 570 EVO can be derated down, so 570 is of course its highest rating for a pleasure duty application. It has a little brother which is a commercially rated engine at 550 horsepower at 3300 RPM, otherwise um, it can also be derated down to 500 horsepower and 480 horsepower as well. So there are quite a few available ratings. For example, for this 10 meter aluminium octopus boat that this engine's going into, 
this will be derated down to 480 horsepower at 3000 rpm. You can also see the size of the header tank being larger here with the new design of ECU mounted on the engine as opposed to the ECU being mounted loose on the NEF 450. So that's a very brief overview of the NEF 570 EVO compared to the NEF 450, both from Fiat Powertrain Technology. Uh, excellent engines, uh, THT have been working with Fiat for close to 30 years now and uh, we look forward to continuing to sell these excellent engines. Thanks for watching.